Okay, can I see? Okay, I think I can see everybody. All right, boys and girls, we're going to tell a story today. This is called Mark and Sandy and the Christian Christmas Tree. It's not really a Christmas tree, but it's a tree out in the forest, and it happened around Christmas time, and it was Christian. Okay, long ago in a deep, dark forest lived two little puppets. Let me see your puppets. Their names was Mark and Sandy. Get Sandy over here. Where you see it. There we go. There you go. They were not like many of you. They did not have a mother or father to look after them. When Mark was 13 he had, and Sandy was 10, their parents were killed while riding the horseback during a storm. Shh! <coughs> lots of storms. Mark knew how to look after the cattle and work for, dog, for Mr. Jones, the only farmer in the neighborhood. Sandy cooked and sewed for the farmer's wife. Mr. Jones had a little kitty. Can you go get that little kitty cat in the window over there? Named Ginger. Because it was light brown and had a gold shining eyes that twinkled. One day when Mark was behind the house, he spotted a tiny fir tree. Look at it, Mark. You see that tree? He says, oh, come look, Marie. Come look at this. Wouldn't Mom like this tree? I mean, come here, Sandy. Look at this tree. Wouldn't Mom have liked this tree? If she was here to see it, why that's splendid. We must take very good care of this tree yeah, and it make would. sure nothing harms it. Mark agreed. Yes, I will make a small fence and put it around the tree. You see that little fence? That little train track thing I brought in here. Look, look. Anyway, he put a fence around there to keep it. Oh, okay, just. Yeah. And here's the look, look. Oh, look. After a few months of watering the tree and keeping it safe from the animals, one day, Mark was gone at the farmer's house. He was at the farmer's house working on the farm. When all of a sudden, a big storm came up and lightning was flashing and he was trying to walk home from the store in the storm. And Sandy says, oh, I know. I will put, I will put candles all around the tree. And I go put the candles around the tree. And she says, I will make it light up. And then Mark will be able to find his way home in the storm. And Owen, Mark was walking through the woods and he said, oh, I think the forest is on fire. And then he got closer and he said, oh no, that's the lights on that fir tree that Sandy put out. Oh, that was a smart thing for her to do. Then they heard a knock on the door and there was a man out there and he said, hello, are you Mark and Sandy? Yes, we saw him. Say, okay. Say, are you Mark and Sandy? Are you Mark and Sandy? Yes, we are. Say, okay. I seen the lights on that tree. I seen the lights on that tree. Yeah. Why Sandy did you? Put them up. All right. Good job. Yeah, that was there, and they said, "Oh, I am your grandfather." Say that. Say, I am your grandfather. Oh, I am your grandfather. Get over here so we can see right here. Oh, oh, really? Yes, and, I am. <laughs> and Sandy says, "But why were you looking for us?" Oh, because I need you guys to talk, to be talked to. And say, will you come live with me on my farm? Will you come live with me on my farm? Yes, we sure will. Say, we have lots of people that come we visit. We have a lots of people. And can we bring our cat with in. us? Yes, can we bring we Ginger can. with us? He says, oh, yes. And he says, we call this our Christian tree because don't you think it would oh, be Oh, yeah, Christian? it would be great for everybody in the world to come. That's right. He said, so we're going to come and live with you on your farm. We're going to come and live with you on my, your farm. All right. Thank you, boys and girls. Yay, what a nice story that you can build.